It was a hot July in 2005 as we pulled up to our bi-level home. Our firstborn was finally home. And I remember placing him in his crib for the first time. And I remember thinking, I can't believe those people trust me to take care of him. I can barely keep a plant alive. But you learn. Eight weeks later, I returned to my accounting corporate job and I remember sitting in the parking lot prior to my shift crying in my 2003 silver Dodge Intrepid sick to my stomach, heartbroken because I had to leave him home. Why doesn't anybody warn you about this? No one can compare, prepare you for that feeling. And it was on that day that I knew that I had to do whatever it took to make a living working from home so I can be home with my baby. So I went back to school online so I can uh, find, find a remote work in cancer registry. And it was challenging. I mean, accounting by day, medical terminology by night, and not too long, I would welcome my second child. I mean, dang it. I said I wanted to be working from home by the time I had my second child. I might as well just have given up. I mean, what's the point? I'm never going to be home in time for my, for my baby and my toddler uh, to raise them. Why am I giving up my evenings and sleep? But then I remembered my promise to myself that I had to do whatever it took to make a living while working from home. And now that I've started, I can't really give up now, can I? Little did I know the biggest test of all was heading my way because I had to do a 100 hour internship. It's 2009 and I'm still working full time. How in the world am I gonna do an internship while working full time? Okay, I guess I'll just have to use all my vacation. So that's what I did. I used all my vacation and all the holidays on the internship. I was so tired that year. When I was off on one job, I was working the other, caring for two toddlers and a husband at home. <laughs> now, <laughs> it was pretty funny because I took a whole week off just to knock out the first 40 hours of that 160 for the internship. And I remember my coworkers wanted to know, Oh, where are you going? Where, what are you going to do on your vacation? And I mean, what was I supposed to tell them? Oh, no, I, I'm taking a week off so I can get the heck out of here. <laughs> nah, I just told them I was doing a staycation. And I can see the, I remember the confusion and the look on their face. Like, who in their right mind takes a week off just to do nothing? But I didn't care. I knew I had a plan and a promise in sight. So I completed my internship, got licensed, and accepted a remote position in 2010 at a hospital in the next county. Everything was coming together. Only one last hurdle. Before I could work remotely, I had to train on site for a year. Well, the supervisor there was unable to train me. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? Now what? How am I supposed to get home in a year if I'm not even being trained? Wow. So I'm no longer working in town, but have accepted a position out of town. That's less times with my baby. I guess I'll just have to train myself. I mean, I got my manuals, so that's what I did. And a year later, I was allowed to work from home. Yes. And now I could take my kids to school, go on field trips, bring in surprise fast food at lunchtime? I did it. And it only took eight years. Ugh. But you know what I learned? I thought my love for my children was what kept me going, but it wasn't. I learned that love is also when we make and keep our promises to ourselves. It is the simple yet powerful most thing that we can do.